Your next punch, your third punch, is your hook punch. This one gets a little bit tricky. So what I want to do is, it's probably easier if I start closer to the bag. So I've got my buddy Bob here. He's going to let me beat up on him to demo. If I start closer to the bag, it's going to make it a little easier to get this punch. What I want to do is the same twisting motion I did on my cross, I'm going to do that with my front foot like this. Okay? So I squish the bug with my back foot. Now I squish the bug with my front foot. Okay? So I twist my foot like this. As I do that, my arm comes out in a hook fashion. Now here's where it gets tricky, and I'm going to be pretty lenient with you on your test um, on this, but I'd like you to, to get the, the main meat of this. When I hook, my arm is not doing anything like this. My arm goes for the ride. It's all my body. Okay? It's all my body. It's my abs. It's my core, my hips, my legs. My arm, again, just goes for the ride. So notice how my elbow is in line with my wrist, like this. I make this hook motion, which is why we call it a hook. I make this hook with my arm, and then I just twist my body, and that's how I hit. There's no extension here. So I'm going to beat up on Bob for a second with it. So I'm here, I go hook. I hit your hook. A lot of times we'll throw that after we throw a cross. So I throw my cross, so now I'm loaded up, and then I hook, okay? Maybe I go over the shoulder, hook, here. One, two, one, two, here. So you'll notice if I'm punching correctly, again, it's not this, I'm doing the Watutsi with my legs, okay? I'm doing the Elvis Presley. I'm going punch, 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 punch. These are my cross and hooks together.